Hi, let's understand business. In this session, we shall be discussing about the objectives of material handling. Material handling is a necessary evil. No client is going to give us high money due to our superior material handling techniques or systems. Good material handling is required to improve the efficiency of the work. So the first and foremost, the objective of material handling is to minimize the material handling cost, to reduce the overall production time, to reduce overheads, to conserve floor space, to improve the employee morale, and finally to prevent accidents. When it comes to minimizing unit material handling cost, first and foremost, one should eliminate unnecessary material handling. Secondly, materials should be handled in batches or lots. One should minimize the required material handling time. And one should replace the handling equipment as appropriate. To reduce the production time, one must minimize the delays of machine operations. One should try and maintain uniform or appropriate movement of material and use automatic processing wherever appropriate. All the material handling activities should be coordinated so that the overall material handling and production time is reduced. To reduce overheads, one must minimize the non-productive labor. Secondly, one should prevent damage to materials. To conserve floor space, one must avoid excessive stock storage. The material should be moved in position so as to save space. And the equipment's use should be such that they use minimum or almost no floor space. To prevent accidents, one must ensure that the physical load handled by individual is minimized. One should also ensure that the material handling equipment is safe for the employees. To improve the employee morale, machines should be such that they provide a proper relationship between the employee and their workspaces. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. For comments or queries, please contact me in the below given address. Thank you.